Why do I smell like poop? What you need to know about body odor. Hey there, curious minds. Welcome back to Healthy 100. Today, we're diving into a topic that's a little, well, fragrant. Have you ever caught a whiff and thought, why do I smell like poop? Don't worry, you're not alone. Stick around as we unravel the mysteries of body odor and explore what your scent might be trying to tell you. It's about to get interesting. Body odor is a natural part of being human, primarily caused by bacteria breaking down proteins in our sweat. But what if that scent takes on a more peculiar note? We'll explore the influence of your diet, the impact of digestive health, and the significance of hygiene habits. From spicy meals leaving their mark to potential underlying medical conditions, we're leaving no stone unturned. Why do I smell like poop? Humor aside, let's delve into a rather serious and often overlooked aspect of personal well-being, body odor. Experiencing such odors isn't just an inconvenience. It profoundly affects day-to-day -day life for those grappling with it. Addressing these unique and distressing body odors requires more than just a quick fix. It necessitates open conversations with healthcare professionals who can provide insight into potential causes and guide individuals toward effective solutions. It's a journey that goes beyond surface level hygiene tips and delves into the complexities of personal health. So, if you or someone you know is grappling with persistent and unusual body odors, remember, seeking professional advice is a crucial step towards understanding and managing these challenges. Let's break the silence foster a supportive community, and acknowledge that everyone deserves to live free from the burden of an overpowering and constant odor. So, why would someone smell like poop? Is body odor related to diet, genetics, exposure to chemicals? The question of why someone might emit an odor resembling poop is indeed a complex one, intertwining factors such as diet, genetics, and potential exposure to chemicals. Unfortunately, this issue remains somewhat elusive and inadequately researched. A significant challenge lies in the fact that not all medical professionals possess the ability to detect the specific offensive body odor, making diagnosis and treatment more intricate. Interestingly, the ability to perceive smells varies among individuals, a trait dictated by genetics. It's almost as if medical professionals develop a kind of immunity to peculiar odors, such as those associated with someone smelling like poop. If you're experiencing an unusual odor that goes beyond mere heightened body odor, you may find yourself in the realm of what's termed metabolic body odor. This is a sophisticated way of saying you smell like poop, and it typically arises when one or more internal cell enzymes malfunction. The affected enzyme fails to complete its metabolic process, leading to the accumulation of odorous, unmetabolized volatile organic compounds, VOCs, in the body. Understanding metabolic body odor requires a nuanced exploration into the intricacies of genetics, enzymatic processes, and their impact on our olfactory experiences. Unraveling these complexities is essential for devising effective strategies to manage and alleviate the challenges faced by individuals grappling with this condition. What goes wrong in the body when these enzymes aren't working properly? When these enzymes responsible for metabolic processes aren't functioning correctly, it can lead to a cascade of issues within the body. Let's break down what goes wrong. Incomplete metabolic processes. Enzymes play a crucial role in facilitating metabolic processes. If an enzyme is defective or deficient, it may struggle to complete its assigned metabolic task. Accumulation of substances. When an enzyme fails to metabolize a specific substrate properly, there's an accumulation of unmetabolized compounds. In the context of metabolic body odor, this often involves the buildup of odorous volatile organic compounds, VOCs. Odor production. The unmetabolized VOCs can produce distinct and often unpleasant odors. In the case of someone smelling like poop, it indicates that the enzymatic breakdown of certain substances is not occurring effectively, resulting in the release of malodorous compounds. Genetic factors. These enzyme deficiencies are often rooted in genetic factors. Genetic mutations or faults can lead to the production of faulty enzymes, affecting their ability to carry out metabolic processes accurately. Xenobiotic metabolic enzymes. In the context of metabolic body odor, xenobiotic metabolic enzymes seem to be particularly relevant. These enzymes are responsible for metabolizing foreign substances, such as drugs and environmental toxins. If there's a deficiency in these enzymes, it can contribute to the accumulation of odorous compounds. Health consequences. 
Beyond the odor-related aspect, faulty metabolic processes can have broader health implications. Accumulation of unmetabolized substances may disrupt normal cellular function and contribute to various health issues. Understanding these processes requires a detailed examination of the specific enzymes involved, the substrates they act upon, and the genetic factors influencing their functionality. The complex interplay of these elements underscores the challenges in addressing and treating conditions related to metabolic body odor. Seeking the expertise of medical professionals is crucial for accurate diagnosis and the development of tailored interventions to manage these issues. So why do you smell like poop specifically? While there are four recognized metabolic body odor disorders with intricate names like trimethylaminuria, dimethylglycinuria, isovaleric acidemia, and hypermethionanemia, the phenomenon often referred to as fecal body odor doesn't neatly fit into one specific category. Individuals diagnosed with primary and secondary trimethylaminuria are often associated with carrying a persistent smell reminiscent of poop. However, they are not the sole carriers of this distinct odor. Surprisingly, individuals with various metabolic disorders may also exhibit a poop-like smell. Strikingly, even some individuals with apparently normal enzyme functions may find themselves emitting an odor akin to feces. Fecal body odor, although prominently discussed on body odor forums, stands as an under-researched medical phenomenon. Are there any common reasons why you smell like poop? Certainly, diet could be a contributing factor. A poor diet, particularly one lacking in fiber, can result in hard stools and constipation. Your colon, essentially your body's sewage system, relies on efficient waste disposal for optimal health. When waste removal is ineffective and infrequent, fecal matter can build up along the colon walls. Over time, this stagnant feces can decay, releasing toxins back into the bloodstream and potentially causing an unpleasant odor akin to smelling like poop. Deficiencies in essential vitamins and minerals, specifically magnesium, might also play a role. Magnesium, often overlooked in our diets, is a vital mineral with wide-ranging benefits, from energy to memory. Dr. Pierre Delbet's observations in 1928 highlighted magnesium's potential to eliminate excess body odor. His findings suggested that supplementing with magnesium could act as a deodorizing agent. Conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, leaky gut, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's disease could contribute to fecal body odor. These conditions interfere with the intestine's filtration process, allowing bacteria, unprocessed proteins, fats, and toxins to be released into the bloodstream. Surprisingly, poor circulation may also be a factor in emitting a poop-like smell. Our bodies are composed of numerous microvessels, and the microcirculatory system is responsible for pushing out metabolic waste and toxins. The term fecal body odor can be misleading in a medical context. Professionals use it to describe an odor that goes beyond just poop. It encompasses smells like gas, rotten egg, garbage, sewage, or rotten fish. While these odors may seem distinct, they all get grouped into the broad fecal category, which might not accurately capture the nuances of each offensive smell. Let's delve into trimethylaminuria, TMAU, a rare metabolic disorder that sheds light on this complexity. TMAU occurs when the body struggles to process trimethylamine, a compound found in choline-rich foods like milk, eggs, liver, and peanuts. This metabolic glitch results in a distinctive fish odor, detectable in breath, urine, and sweat. Interestingly, in some cases, this odor may resemble the smell of feces. Those experiencing fecal body odor might consider testing for TMAU. As of now, there isn't a definitive cure for metabolic body odor or fecal body odor specifically. However, considering the knowledge of body systems and the gut, a robust probiotic designed for intensive recolonization could be beneficial. Digestive enzymes might also offer assistance. Adopting a clean diet, free of processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats, could be advantageous on multiple fronts. Additionally, exploring more about microcirculation may provide valuable insights into managing these challenging conditions. While a cure might be elusive, a holistic approach focusing on gut health, diet, and circulatory function could potentially offer relief and improved overall well-being. In conclusion, the realm of metabolic body odor, often encapsulated by the term fecal body odor, is a multifaceted and intricate landscape. 
It encompasses a range of offensive smells that go beyond just resembling poop, making it a challenging phenomenon for both individuals and medical professionals to navigate. Understanding that these odors extend beyond a singular category highlights the importance of individualized approaches to diagnosis and treatment. While there might not be a one-size-fits-all solution, exploring various avenues, including the fascinating world of microcirculation, can provide valuable insights. As we delve into the complexities of the human body, let's remember that addressing these challenges requires empathy, understanding, and ongoing research. If you or someone you know is dealing with metabolic body odor, seeking the guidance of healthcare professionals is crucial for tailored advice and support. Thank you for joining us in this exploration. If you found this information helpful, or if you have experiences to share, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more insightful content, and ring the notification bell. Remember, your health is a priority, and together we can continue unraveling the mysteries of the human body. Until next time, take care. Bye.